Well, we find ourselves back in St. George. We like to come down here every year for a train show, but we're taking a little side trip up Snow Canyon State Park. It's a absolutely beautiful place. It's virtually right in downtown St. George. You drive through some houses and there's the entrance to the park. But what brought us down here is uh, the Color Countries Model Railroad Club Open House, which they do every November. They sure have a lot of amazing railroads at this event, and I look forward to it every year. Yeah, it's you wouldn't think that a little teeny town like St. George would have all these amazing railroads, but it does. And uh, we heard um, through Christy that there was something amazing going on up Snow Canyon. <laughs> right. Christy had sent us an article about this flag that they'd hung up in Snow Canyon, and she thought we might be interested in seeing it before we left town. So yes, we had to go look at it. Yeah, it's, it's 10,000 square feet, and it's hanging uh, between two of the cliffs right there in the, the state park. It's just amazing. The flag was put up by a not-for-profit volunteer group and they actually travel around uh, the state of Utah putting up these gigantic 10,000 square foot flags. Right, they had one similar to that here in Salt Lake. Yeah, it, it's, um, I forget where they put it up, but they generally leave the flag behind. If the community can raise enough money to buy the flag, then they leave the flag behind so that community can put it up every single year. This flag lives here in this canyon, provided that the state park system has a good experience with us and gets good feedback from everybody, then they'll give us a, a permit every year and we'll put it up every Veterans Day from here forward. That's the plan. This does not travel around. There are, it's almost like a nonprofit franchises now. We've got, we've got a flag that go, lives in the canyon in North Ogden. We've got one in Pleasant Grove and in, we have traveled up and put our Pleasant Grove flag in the canyon the, the Snake River Gorge by the Perrine Bridge in, in um, Twin Falls, Idaho. But they have raised, raised enough money that now they will pick their flag up in two weeks and they'll have their own flag to yeah. fly from now on. So this will be one of four flags that flies that are all the same size every year. So Pleasant Groves is the 4th of July. Uh, Twin Falls is 9-11. And then uh, the major flies in North Ogden from voting day until Veterans Day. And then this one will go up on Veterans Day every year for, for a week. What so, is the major? The major is the name of the flag in North Ogden. The major is called the major because Major Brent Taylor died in Afghanistan. And we took our flag and put it up in their canyon the first year when that happened. And um, then they they were touched enough that they put, uh, they fundraised the money and they picked their flag up on July 3rd to put it in their parade. And um, our flag, Big Betsy, our first flag, now we're on our second flag, um, was torn in half on July 4th by a microburst. And they called us up and said, we'll bring the major down. So we swapped him out. We got their flag and flew their flag for the first time in Pleasant Grove Canyon. So so this star over here, is this the size of the stars on the flag? It is. It is. The new stars are a little different because the new stars with the major and with Big Betsy, the, the star is on top of the blue. And with the new flags... Being the photographer, I kind of insisted, even though it's a little more expensive, that they cut the blue fabric out and put the stars in on their own so that they're translucent to the light because it was frustrating for me to take these pictures at night with the drone and stuff where the, flat, the white on the stripes was beautiful and then you couldn't see the stars. 
So now it costs more to do it that way, but it's worth it. So they're beautiful. So the, the flag is up all night, every night, obviously for a whole week. And we take this seven million candle power, gigantic xenon arc lamp. It's the same kind of lamp that goes on the top of the um, Luxor Hotel and, and uh, it shines up there and runs on a generator. And we have somebody watching it all night, every night. I think it's wonderful how these groups that uh, do these flags get together and honor veterans on a day like Veterans Day with these flags. It's just wonderful. Yeah, both of our fathers were veterans. Right. And it's fun to do something on Veterans Day uh, just to remember our, our fathers who mm. were veterans. Right. It was a big deal at our house every Veterans Day. It's just spectacular seeing a gigantic flag like this. Well, it looks like it's just free floating in the air. You can't see the wire that much. And it's suspended out in the middle of the canyon. Right. It just looks like it's floating there. Well, on Sunday, we're going to be back playing trains. Right. We've got a lot of model railroads that we saw while we were down here. And we're going to start off with one of our favorite ones. Oh, yes. And so that will be Sunday. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel, you want to make sure you're a subscriber to the channel by clicking on the upcoming blue button. Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you on Sunday. Right. We'll see you then. I'll see ya. Bye bye. Bye.